yo, it's the big Dom back at it again. Got another reaction video here for you guys. Um, this one is about the Travis Scott Astro World situation. Not only is it about the situation, it's more about the survivors um, talking about the situation that happened at Astro World. Now, one, I'm going to call them survivors only because. I want to say they're calling themselves survivors. It, it it's kind of they're kind of making it seem like a massacre, but then again, uh, I don't want to sound insensitive to the people who passed, but I just, I, w I want to say it was more of a. I guess you can call them survivors. Let me stop. Let me stop because I guess you could say it was more of like a huge, unfortunate accident. Um, despite. I'm seeing a lot of people talking about he was on some satanic stuff and some devilish stuff or whatever it is. But, um, yeah, I want to say it was just like a real bad, unfortunate event, which I guess you can call these people survivors. But some of the people I don't like the I don't like how they're doing because, you know, a lot of these people are putting their their stories out on TikTok. And whenever I see anybody do anything on TikTok, I just believe, oh, they're doing this for clout. So I believe a lot of people are doing it for clout. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and react to some of the stories. I haven't heard any, a lot of them yet. I heard, I've heard some, but some stories from some people and um, see where they're talking about the Astro World situation. So um, this one here, let's go ahead and start with this one. I don't know the this young lady's name, but we're going to go ahead and play it. Let's see what she's talking about. Hey gang, I'm in Houston right now. So I'm in Houston, Texas because I came to attend the Astro World Festival. And last night was day one. Unfortunately, day two was canceled. And a lot of tragic events had taken place at this event last night. It was crazy. Although it was crazy, everything was preventable for a fact. From the absolute beginning, of when I stepped in and got through security. Immediately as I was on the merge line, everybody was acting out of place. Nobody was, um, you know, listening to rules. They were literally passing the barricades around our head. And I was just like really concerned because I hate, as a New Yorker, I just hate shit that's out of place. Like, why are you screaming? And me being short, I'm 4'11. So me being short, if I can't see something, I get very, very worried. So then. I'm not going to pause too much, but. Um... That's one thing that I've been seeing a lot of people talk about when it comes to this festival is they're talking about, oh, things are out of place. It was rowdy, this, that, and the other. But I've been to not too many festivals or concerts or whatever it is. But from the ones I went to, um, that's what concerts are and festivals. They, they're out of place. They, they're they rowdy and things like that. So, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people say that, but it's like it's normal festival and concert activity you're gonna get the rowdy people everybody's either on drugs or super drunk you know what i mean um, they're trying to get lit so those are things you're gonna see at festivals so that i'm not seeing any difference with that but i'm gonna keep going and i start wondering why are they all screaming like i can't see so i need to know exactly what's going on that's my new york senses i'd be alert 24 7. not the point though i just feel so bad towards like the end where everybody needed the most help you could hear from the back the front the side the north east west and south people were chanting help me help me help me help us help 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 when i had gotten to the front i tried to stay and i'm so thankful i left because i couldn't breathe anymore um i remember one of the security guards had told me he's like i can't let you out unless you're passing out SMB. so given that these ragers are crazy um the boys wanted more space in the front so they were like yo she's passing out she's passing out yelling to the security guard you know lying to help me get out and then i actually was able to get out so it was a bunch of shit going on but the fact that they were given a call saying if these people are not passing out do not take them out i've never been to a concert Concert, <laughs> concert or festival where they can't help you get out like if you can't breathe you can't breathe i don't need to pass out for you to take me out so they were understaffed they weren't given enough water and just being the performer and owner of this entire like you know festival every year annual festival you need to have the proper management and planning 
to you know fund these events and pay people and hire people to do a healthcare job or a medical job or whatever you need them for. And then he also incited people to like violently um, sneak in and stuff. Like that was really really scary to watch. I watched people run into this into the festival. About that. Um. Yeah. Pause for a reason. So. Uh. If anybody knows Travis Scott or knows his shows, the majority of the people that went there know what's what's going on, what they went there for. His him turning up like crazy. Like this is a known thing. So people getting mad about it or, or not mad about it, but using that as anything against him now, like after the situation, is it's kind of uh hypocritical because like that's what you went there for. You know what I mean? Um, so it's like they they know this. Now I'm not saying that to defend I'm not gonna defend him. I'm not going defend anything that he you know what I'm saying that's for his lawyers to do but it's just the fact that you know what I'm saying people know what happens at Travis Scott concerts and and y'all chose to go but um yeah let's let's keep going festival, like for 45 minutes straight it was so many people so many people and it's just so tragic like coming home tonight still in Houston I want to fucking go home like I that ass never will come back but I just want to say rest in peace to everyone and all those innocent babies who really lost their life. No one deserves that. Now, that's that's one thing I have a huge issue with. I seen something saying she said baby. So that that kind of brought this up. Um, I've seen. It said a 10 year old is clinging to his life right now. Right. Um. Like I said just a while ago, people know what goes down at these Travis Scott concerts, bro. That's speci specifically Astro World. This ain't the first one. They know how they rock. They know how much people gonna be there. Like this is a known thing. Why bring your ten year old to a place like that? Ten year old, or even younger. Um, why? I I, I don't I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't. Not something like that where it's going to be, you you know there's going to be a lot of people on drugs. You know it's going to be a lot of drunk people. You know this, that, and it, the other is going to happen. Why bring your child out there? I don't think it's a, pla a place or a setting for a child to be out there. Um, There's, there's other places that you could have had your child see Travis Scott. Um, But... Yeah, like it's like it's like bringing a child to Rolling Loud. I wouldn't bring a child to Rolling Loud. You know what I mean? That's something you go out there with. You know what I'm saying? Your adult friends, your buddies. You go drink. You go have fun. You turn up. But <clears throat> they were out there. There was kids out there, and um, unfortunately, some kids got injured, and and there was some fatalities involved with with children. So that's just my take on that. I'm just saying that is an issue to me. I'm not bashing the parents that did i'm just stating the fact that it's not the place for a child to be just stating that fact hey gang i'm in houston right now oh, this one so i'm in houston texas oh wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> so that was that was one i'm gonna go ahead and there was there was a like one or two more i'm gonna go ahead and react to those uh let's see this one's two days ago Let's see what this one, let's see what this dude talking about. Good morning, YouTube. Now I'm back with another video. And I'm gonna just break down and tell y'all how I went at the Travis Scott concert. I was there. He was there. I went, I was in the crowd. I seen everything with my own two eyes. I'm gonna break it down to y'all. It was all good, you know what I'm saying? When I went, it was all good during the day because you know, people was riding, riding, ask the world. You know, theme park, it was good. You know what I'm saying? It just looked weird when we walked through the mouth, though. When we walked through the mouth for the man, shit looked weird. But I wasn't paying no attention to it, so I walked through, you know. I went and had some fun, did my thing. Boom, here come the concert. You see the clock up there counting down. So when the countdown went to zero, mm -hmm. everything got dark. Now, mind you, it's thousands of people there. 
I'm talking about motherfucker on top of motherfucker. I'm talking about a motherfucker was so close to me. I'm like, get your bitch ass back. Yes, scoot yeah. back. Scoot. Everybody was saying. From what I seen, I seen it was a lot of people. Like, it was OD. Like, but, like, like I said, that's festival activity, bro. Like, I've been to some, uh, uh, from what I remember, a festival I went to, I remember us being, like, crowded up. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at festivals, just go on, on YouTube and search Rolling Loud or... or or it's a huge festival, you're you going to see that this is what goes down. School <clears throat> It's just what happened. I believe what happened here is that Travis Scott already has, you know what I'm saying, that crowd is super packed. And then you add crazy people in the crowd going dumb, mosh pitting, raging, or uh, raving, and um, just all that craziness. That's going to create, like, s nothing good can come out of that, especially in a huge jam-packed crowd. Back. School back. How in the fuck is these people going to school back? <clears throat> and it's 50,000 motherfuckers up here like a sardine can packed. I'm not playing with y'all, man. This shit was, it was so hot. I'm talking about, well, let me get to the, the nitty-gritty of this. So, the countdown. When the show started, boom, all you seen was fucking fire and portals and everything. Now, it's people on the side of you. The motherfucking white boy passed out. I'm somebody like, bro, I'm shaking him. Bro, wake up, bro. He wouldn't wake up. Next thing you know, here comes security jumping in the crowd. Now, security wasn't jumping in the crowd to save nobody. Security was jumping in the crowd to be seen. Cause when they jump to that motherfucking crowd, I'm shaking them. Hey, look. They didn't even help him. They went to the next motherfucker when they seen he wasn't doing that. I was like, oh my God. So boom, Travis Scott come out. Fire and everything. I'm talking about, man, y'all should have, you should have felt it demonic in it. Oh. It was demonic. I'm talking about, I was like, where the fuck is I at? White bars all around me. Hey, 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 hey. Moss pits and shit. I'm like, man, if you don't sit your bitch ass down and stop pushing me, bro. They didn't listen. Hey, 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 hey. They jumping around and shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck is that? I thought Travis Scott was black. But little did y'all know, he had all, he got a white fan base. Now, the white boy, I didn't know this motherfucker do moss pits and shit. Moss pits everywhere. White boy pushing each other and shit. Little kid, ah, screaming on the ground. So, boom, I'm like, man, let me let me get up out of here, man. I said, get me out. You know how the people was telling the people to get them out? The security, I'm telling the security, get me out, get me out, security. Man, the motherfucking security was getting all white boys out and white girls. They wasn't getting me. I get me out, get me out, get me out. I'm raising my hand. I'm saying, get me out. They still wasn't getting me out. So, boom, let me tell you when the dramatic came. When, 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 the, when, the, when the real part came. What did he say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking down on the body, I, just, I know y'all remember that. I just gotta say, this, was, this, this dude's uh, this dude's <laughs> explanation is, is is hilarious, but um, I'm gonna keep going. I just had to say that. That's why. When he starts saying yeah, it seemed like when he starts saying yeah, it seemed like everything went into a motherfucking trans or something. People <laughs> on the side of me was going like this. Nah. <laughs> Motherfuckers was like zombies and hypnotized. I'm like, oh shit, please, Father God, I'm praying and shit. So, boom. I was like, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Man, the feeling, y'all don't understand the feeling that it was in there, man. You couldn't breathe. Every gasp, out, you couldn't even gasp for air. Because it seemed like everybody was taking the oxygen. Because, like I said, it was motherfuckers piled on top of motherfucking white boys and shit. I'm like, man, y'all, back y'all ass up. Everybody back up, back up, back. Nobody was backing up because they couldn't back up. Travis Scott, the only one that's comfortable, he at the top. He looking down. Hey, hey, hey. Oh People saying, stop the show, stop the show. Stop. I was even saying stop the show. Stop the show. He never stopped the show. Man, if y'all could have been there, man, this shit was crazy, bro. All right, so with that one there, um, like I said, normal Astro World activity, normal Travis Scott activity. It ain't, it ain't nothing new. That's what they do at Travis Scott shows. Um, 
Yo, I think this is the one I recently seen. No, this is different. Coming on here to talk about my experience. Yeah, so a lot of people saying some demonic stuff about about it. No, I wouldn't call it demonic. I just call it crazy as hell. Like they they like to mosh pit and rave and rage, and um they like to take a lot of drugs and bump into each other and push each other around. This is nothing new. They, it's dangerous when it's a lot of people. Like it, like it could be really dangerous. You know what I mean? But that's what they do. So. A lot of people trying to say uh, that it was demonic. They was in hell, and and Travis Scott was doing a demonic ritual and things of that sort. But um, I ain't buying that, man. It's just, I believe what I believe is, is it was just a freak accident. Like this, this was not supposed to happen. Now, could uh, there been an upgrade to maybe security or things of that like like? These unfortunate things happen, and then afterwards, they 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 make things to fix these situations so it doesn't ever happen again. So it's like Travis Scott's been doing these concerts, and maybe people get injured here and there, but never no deaths probably. So he didn't think, oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like people are probably gonna pass out or get injured from pushing each other, blah blah blah. But he probably wasn't thinking, oh, people going to die. You know what I mean? Um, so now they know, oh, there's a possibility of death. So we're going to have to tighten up this, that, there, this, here, this, there, um, so that this never, ever happens again. Like I said, freak, freak accident. Uh, Astro Fest it is extremely traumatizing. I've never experienced anything like that in my entire life. Probably because I've never been surrounded by so many lifeless bodies. I haven't been able to stop thinking about what was happening all around me. It was so demonic. The energy was so demonic. The set was demonic. Travis was demonic. We were literally in hell. Like, it felt like we were in hell. Nobody could breathe. We were all. I don't get it, bro. These people saying that they were in hell and that it was demonic. Well, bro, you went to a I don't think unless they went there for another person on the set and ended up being up front and center during Travis Scott's set, but you've listened to Travis Scott's music. You've seen his shows before. You know what you signed up for. So I don't get what the, what was this the last straw like it was like, "Oh, this to like what he says, demonic stuff, or the other shows were the, just a bit demonic, and oh nah, this was the last straw. Like this is, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. Suffocating. Everybody around me is suffocating. We were standing on our tiptoes, and all you see is <gasps> everyone around you, chins up, <gasps> gasping for air, and that's all you see around you. I tell you what, if uh, I was ever in that situation, and I'm looking at the crowd and I see the crowd is super duper packed. I'm not walking in that crowd. I don't care. If I see that it starts getting too packed, I'm walking out. So as soon as I see that it starts getting packed or see that it is packed, I'm not going to be there. I don't even like sitting in drive through food lines when I see that the line's too long. I don't like being in crazy crowded spaces. Um, I seen a video of some guy. I think he was supposed to be, he was a survivor as well. He has his phone out, and he has his phone there, and he's laughing and smiling and, you know what I'm saying, giggling. Bro, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Like like the last video, the guy said he was trying to find a way out right away. You know what I mean? That would have been me. I'm not sitting, not not for Travis Scott. No. No, not not for anybody. But, um, yeah, a lot of people was doing that for Travis Scott. So, I don't know. But anyway. There was no room for mosh pits. There was no room to breathe. We couldn't even breathe. We didn't even have enough room. To, like, I'm sore. Like, like this hurts to take a deep breath today. Like, we couldn't even breathe in there because everyone's bodies were s literally suffocating us. Suffocating us so bad that people were bleeding out of their mouths and their nose. People were screaming bloody murder, literally. Begging for help from anybody there's nothing that anybody could do the floors were covered in bodies you're doing your very best we're, we're fighting for our fucking lives we're doing our very best to stay 
up, you couldn't even put your foot on the ground. You're stepping over other people, you're stepping over other people's shoes, just trying to fucking breathe. I'm surrounded by unconscious bodies. I don't even know if these people were alive. There's, there's just people all around you with their eyes rolled in the back of their heads, just being moved with the crowds. There was nowhere we could go. We were trying to push back. We were trying to push back to get out. And we're just getting pushed forward. We're just getting pushed deeper into the crowd. There's sinkholes of people in the crowds okay. all around me. Like, if I would have if I would have hit the floor, I would have never gotten up. You can see, like, adults holding their children up, like, trying to get them to safety. There's kids, like, pissing and shitting themselves for as a trauma response. Like, like I said before, why do you have your child there? It's not... It's not clicking, Stephen. It's not. It's not clicking. Why bring your child to an environment like that? I don't know. It's not clicking. Imagine going to your first concert and, like, you. this is how you think, like, concerts are. Like, it took us 30 minutes to get out of the crowd, and we were in the back. As we finally get out, you just see people running out, bawling, lips blue there's people they're, they're dragging dead bodies out of the crowd dead bodies and travis knew travis had a bird's eye view on everybody and could see everything he was asked multiple times to stop and his responses are you know what you were here for something like that and let's rage all right so um should travis has stopped the show yeah yeah, the thing though, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta understand is, like she said, like so people are saying stop the show, blah blah blah, and he's saying, you know, you know what you were here for. Um, he did, he, he probably didn't. I mean, remember, you, you're an artist, you're on stage, you in the zone. You know what I'm saying? I I've performed before, and I've been in the zone, like where, like I'm turning up, like. Like you're in your bag, you know what I'm saying? This is your show. The last thing you going the last thing you gonna think is something like that happening. Somebody's dying in the crowd. That's the last thing you're gonna think. So you're not gonna just stop the show. And you know what I'm saying? And um he like I said like I said before, he've had he's had these shows before. So people probably passed out during the shows and, and things like that. So he's you know, he has the the medical staff who's going to go take the people who passed out and take care of them or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, I I think that he probably didn't think it was as serious as it was during the time. Um, But who knows? Who knows? I mean, maybe I'm misjudging this all the way, and he definitely knew. He, he knew that people died. It, it wouldn't make sense to me. Like, it would be like, yo, that's crazy. But like, oh. Oh, I see a, a couple of dead bodies over there. All right, cool. Keep the show going. It wouldn't make no sense, but if I'm misjudging it, then that it is what it is. But from what I can think from being an artist myself, he he didn't probably didn't think that everything was to that degree. Um, I'm not going to watch no more because we're getting up there with time. But, um, yeah, so that, that was some of the Survivor videos that I've seen. Maybe if... if if y'all see, if y'all if y'all like this video, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, comment down below, say you want a part two, and I'll do a part two reacting to other ones, putting them all together. Um, but yeah, that's that. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all, how y'all feel about the situation. If y'all were there, comment below. Let me know what's up. Um, last thing I want to say, I, I meant to say it was in my head while I was watching her response is that I think some of the blame should go on. Uh, uh, <clears throat> on Travis Scott's fan base as well. Tra Travis Scott's fan base is a lot of the blame as well. So some of the blame should go on them. You guys need to really understand or kind of not understand, but you guys need to shape up how you guys, I don't know. But the, fa the fan base should be partial blame as well. So I don't forget that. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe if y'all like this video. If you don't like, subscribe. Hit the hit the dislike button if you don't like it. If you don't like something I said, comment below. Uh, chances are I, I don't care that you don't like it, but it's nice to know 
that you don't like it. Um, but yeah, catch you in the next reaction video. It's the Big Don. Bow, and I'm out of here.